Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to connect a Unify network to a TP-Link switch. I get this question asked quite a bit in my Discord as well as in my YouTube comments. You could connect any managed switch that you like to each other. The configuration just may be a little different. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server. I'll put the description in the link below. So first, let's take a look at our topology and how we're gonna do things. So our firewall and router will be our UDM Pro, and we're gonna have a trunk link between the UDM Pro and our Unify USW24 port switch. From the USW24 port switch, we're gonna be connected to the TP-Link TLSG2008P. This is a managed PoE switch. Off of the TP link switch, we're going to have a Unify Nano HD on port 4, and we're going to create a couple different networks. So the first network we'll create is our staff network on 192.168.130.1/24 on VLAN 130, and then we'll create a guest network on 192.168.140.1/24 on VLAN 140. In the UDM Pro, we're going to create a port profile. So the connection between the USW24 and the TP link switch, the only networks that we'll be able to go across is our native LAN and then our VLAN of 130 and 140. And then we'll put that port profile on port 24 of the USW24. So let's go over to the UDM Pro and get these networks created. Now we're at the UDM Pro, we need to click on settings and then click on networks. On the networks, we want to create new network. And the first network we'll create is staff. The VLAN ID is 130, and then the subnet will be 192.168.130.1/24, and then we'll update the DHCP range. We'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll press save. Next, we need to create the new network of our guests, so we'll call it guest, and then we'll give it a VLAN ID of 140. The subnet will be 192.168.140.1/24, and then we'll update the DHCP range and press save. So those two networks are created, we need to create the switch port profiles. So we'll go over to profiles and then we'll click on switch ports. Here we're gonna add a new port profile. I'll call this tp-link trunk. Our native network is gonna be our LAN and then our tag networks will be staff and guest. If we had other networks within the UDM Pro, the only VLANs that would go across the ports that we specify to be on tp-link trunk will be VLAN 130 and VLAN 140, and we'll press save. Now on our USW24, we need to put that new profile. So we'll go to devices, and then we'll click on our switch. The TP-Link switch is on port 24, so we'll scroll down and then we'll hit the edit pencil. From here, we're gonna hit the switch port profile and then select the new custom TP-Link trunk profile and then press apply. Now we have our VLANs created within our UDM Pro, we need to create them in the TP-Link switch. We need to figure out which IP the TP-Link switch is on and we could go to our clients. And it's showing that it's in 192.168.1.87. So we'll go up to a browser and type that in. And this switch has been defaulted. So the username and password is admin and then admin. And we'll press login. Now it's asking us for a new password and we'll enter that. All right, so now we're into our TP-Link switch and there's a couple ways we could do this. We could either do the configuration directly from the IP or if you have TP-Link Amada software controller, you could do it that way. We're just gonna do it direct from the IP. So I'm gonna go to the layer two features and then I'm gonna click on VLAN. So we need to add the staff in the guest VLAN. So we'll click add and then I'll give it the VLAN ID of 130 in the name of staff. Now we need to tag the ports on the TP-Link switch. So the uplink port to my USW24 is on port one and we want this VLAN to be tagged. And then the Nano HD is on port four and we want that to be tagged as well and press create. Now we need to do our guest network. So we'll press add and it will be VLAN 140. We'll name it guest. And then we need to tag those two ports again. So port one and port four and then press create. Now all our uplink ports are configured, we need to create the wireless network. So I'll go back to my UDM Pro, we'll click on settings and then go to wireless networks. Here we'll create a new wireless network. I'll call it staff. And then we'll give it a password of test1234 and we'll select the network of staff and then press save. 
And then we need to create our guest network. We'll call it guest with the password of test1234. And we'll select the network of guest and then press save again. Now the wireless networks are created. Let's do some tests to make sure if we connect to these wireless networks, we're put into the correct subnet. So I'll go down to my wireless adapters and we'll click on guest. I'll press connect and then we'll enter the password of test1234 and press next. Now we can see we're connected. I'll open up a command prompt. And then we'll type in IP config. And there you have it. We could see our Wi-Fi is on 192.168.140.64, which is our guest network. So it's pretty simple to add different switches together. And you don't need to do this just between Unify and TP-Link. It could be any vendor that you prefer. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right. Thanks.